and also a stop action on frame keyframe one of the actions layer. Oops. Okay. Stop action. All right. Now we have our <coughs> our actions layer all set. The labels layer. We're going to start on keyframe two here and press F6 and we're going to put the word over down in the frame label there and then also on 11 we're going to press F6 and we're going to put out on this frame label down here type out and then extend it out by pressing F5 and you'll see that it says over and out and it looks like they're a little uneven so I'm going to drag over or out back one and then the stop action back one and so the text layer we can just extend all the way out because I'm not going to animate that you can animate it if you want make it a movie clip animate it along with this uh, movie clip base we made here so we're going to hit uh, after we get our text extended all the way through the animation uh, we're going to hit keyframe or frame 2 of the, but the, the base layer and press F6 and then we're going to hit the the one that corresponds to the stop action and press F6 and we're going to right click the center and press uh, create motion tween in that list now we have a motion tween there so now we're going to go to that frame uh, it looks like frame 9 there and highlight this the uh, movie clip we made out of that base and we're going to go to tint and tint it uh, any color we want really let's see let's give it a deep tint of yeah that one right there looks good right about there make it purple any colors you want really and you can make it animate to do anything you want really and let's go ahead and press F6 on the next keyframe that corresponds to the out and then press F6 on the the last keyframe and on the last one you know highlight that and hit the symbol and take the tint away by pressing none here then press the center again and press control uh, create motion tween now we have a motion tween going in and out on both so when the mouse goes over it this is its up state and the mouse goes over it it does that the mouse goes away from it it animates back out to its normal state and it doesn't stop here it loops back to frame one and then it stops okay looks like we have one more frame there that's fine actually let's move it in so they're even get rid of all these let's see highlight all these yeah. uh, remove frames okay now the tween distances are even same amount of frames and that's it. that's pretty much it that's all you want to do inside of the button symbol and go back out into scene one by clicking scene one here and now we can put some code to make all of that uh, this button one instance get all of those uh, animations working the timeline animations inside of it so we'll hit the actions layer press control uh, not control but F9 you open your actions panel now we're going to start the uh, the action script that will get the uh, the buttons working. First, I'm going to make one button, then I'll make another button and show you how you can duplicate it. So you hit the F9, go into the actions panel, and we're going to type in the function for the first button. Function space btn1 is the instance name we gave it, and this is event colon mouse event. The event is a mouse event, and we also want to put a void in here and then a curly brace. I'm going to close up the curly bracket there, a curly brace, whatever you call that stupid thing. And then btn1 dot do and play over that over instance we made or the over frame label we made inside of the movie clip that's what it's going to play here 
Alright. That's closed up. Okay, so now we have function button one event, mouse event, button one, go to and play over. That's exactly what we want. So let's press control C, highlight it all, press control C, and under it, let's paste, control V, and button one, mouse event, rename this out. And, uh, actually we have to give these a different one here, so let's put over. So now this says btn1 over is the function name, and this function name is btn1 out. And then let's put our listeners in for both of those right now. So let's say btn1 dot add event listener, and this is the mouse event we're listening for mouse event dot roll over these all have to be capital roll over and we'll put a comma and the button function name now btn1 over and then we close that up and we'll highlight all that control c press enter control v under it and change this to say roll out instead of over Oops. roll out and change this to say out as well now it's listening for the button one out function and the button one over function that we just created up top here and I think that should do it and to make more buttons let's make another button let's press control C and you can make as many of these as you want by putting all these in and let's make this a 2. Keep everything else the same, just change all the BTN1 to BTN2. Everywhere it says BTN1 in there, change it to BTN2. And now you have your your second button functions all set up and ready to go. Um, and to put uh, to make it navigate to a URL on mouse down or something, you just add another function, uh, BTN1 down. And you add a listener btn1 down here and it would say mouse event uh, mouse down or click whichever one you want okay so the buttons are set up to do their animations so now we need a second button so we're gonna highlight this button and actually we're gonna go into the library first and highlight where it says button right click it duplicate it and it'll say btn copy and open movie clip and you say ok and then uh, press control highlight this one press control C control shift V move it down and swap it now we're gonna swap it for the the duplication we just made in the library and now this is instance of BTN copy and instance name BTN1 change to BTN2 now we have BTN1 instance of BTN on the top one BTN copy BTN2 is the instance name so now we'll go into this one and change that where it says BTN1 to BTN2. And like I said, you make 10 of those if you want pretty easily. All right, now we're back on scene one. Let's publish out and see if this works. Yep, as you can see, they're nice animated buttons. They have a rollover effect. Actually, let's go back into the file and change the frame rate to a nice healthy 24. And then publish out much better nice animated buttons now this FLA is going to be available where this video is playing so you won't have any questions about how it works or you can't get your code wrong because it's all right there and like I said to add uh, functions to make it go to different movie clips in your in your file or to go to a URL you just add the uh, button to down and then a uh, button function that would be ready and set up for the down event make it go to a URL and that's pretty much it. That's how you make uh, animated buttons. Like I said, you can make a whole bunch down through there. They can look like whatever you want them to look like. Uh, they can resize. Instead of changing color, you can animate them to bulge and get bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. So that's the end of that one. That was pretty simple. And we'll see you next lesson.